introduce Assistant Democratic Leader Nagoose. Thank you. Uh, well, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, good to be here. First, let me say uh, my gratitude uh, to all the organizations uh, that have convened us this morning for this important conversation and opportunity for us to communicate directly to the American people. I would echo the remarks of Leader Schumer uh, and would just say I don't think you could find two greater champions for climate action uh, whose clarity of purpose in that regard has been steadfast than Senator Whitehouse and Senator Markey, uh, who have just been champions year after year uh, here in the United States Senate fighting for climate action on behalf of the American people. We're grateful to call them colleagues in the upper chamber uh, and even more grateful for the work that they are doing each and every day. I will be brief because you're going to have an opportunity to hear from uh, two of the most significant climate action advocates in the House of Representatives, uh, my dear colleagues in the House Democratic Caucus. For me, all of this boils down to three words, polluters over people. Over the last 16, 17 months, we have witnessed in the House an extreme MAGA Republican majority that has taken every opportunity to pass bill after bill to give giveaways to oil companies and to corporate polluters near and far. Our uh, chairwoman of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus, a senior member of the Energy and Commerce Committee, has seen this play out in markup after markup on her committee, as I'm sure she'll relay to all of you. Meanwhile, you have uh, uh, Senator Markey's colleagues on the other side of the aisle in the United States Senate defending the very corruption that so many Americans across our country have such deep disdain for. Uh, for me, there could not be a greater contrast in terms of the efforts of House Republicans and Senate Republicans uh, in defending corporate price gouging, just by way of example, and the work that House Democrats and Senate Democrats under President Biden's leadership pursued over the course of the last several years in enacting the most significant climate action uh, since uh, the, uh, well, we disagree, agree to disagree. <laughs> What I would say, with respect to his views, and I would say the views of the American people, just, just by way of reference, a poll was done three days ago canvassing the American people on their top priority, which is addressing costs. And when asked what they would like to see the United States Congress do about it, 72% of the American public suggest that we should be tackling corporate price gouging. 72% corporate price gouging that's raising fuel prices, raising food prices, raising prices of everyday goods for the American people. So the American people are with us, and I think share our sentiments that we ought to defend the climate action progress that we made in the Inflation Reduction Act, and that we ought to target the corporate price gouging uh, that, has be, that is being, or has become rather so pervasive by virtue of the actions of these oil companies, uh, and we should target head on. And that's exactly what we will continue to do uh, certainly uh, in the House of Representatives under the leadership of Leader Jeffries and, of course, the leadership of the two colleagues that I'm so privileged to be able to join, you, join with uh, this morning. And so with that, I want to bring up uh, to the podium uh, the chairwoman of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus, who has been a leader on preserving our public lands, on broadening access to national parks, and on tackling climate action head on. She was doing it long before she was in the United States Congress as a municipal official uh, back in Southern California. And she has now taken that leadership here uh, to Washington, D.C. We're grateful for her leadership. Nanette Barajan. Thank you. 